Hey guys, welcome back to another heavy metal diecast video. And uh, today we've got one here from Corgi in 170 second scale diecast. Of course, we have ourselves a Hawker Hunter F Mark VI from the Blue Diamonds here. It's, the aircraft actually was used by the uh, 92 Squadron aerobatic team, the Blue Diamonds, during 1961 1962. Um, only operating, obviously, for a couple of years. At the same time, uh, the RAF flew a couple of different aerobatic teams, and uh, they were active until uh, 1964. It was decided to amalgamate all the aer aerobatic teams in uh, just one team, which would become the Red Arrows in 1964. I grabbed this for, I think it was around $40 or something like that. It was relatively cheap, and uh, we'll open this up. I'm not, not huge into my aerobatic aircraft, but it was pretty cheap, so I, I grabbed it with a couple, and uh, it does have the usual sort of stuff in the flap for these uh, Aviation Archive Corgi ones, and of course that little Hunter sitting in there in the box, and uh, as we say, it is no good in the box. So what we'll do is we'll get this out of the box and have a real good look at it. Alrighty, with this Hunter out of the box, it does actually come with its own collector card, of course, and there is a limited run of uh, 4,000. So 4,000 people in the world can grab one of these. So if you've already got it, you're one of those lucky 4,000. If you get to grab it, well, you better better snap one up while you can. We'll get this open. It does come with the usual sort of uh, stands that these do come with. And of course your landing gear options. I'm assuming it's not going to be too complicated. The canopy does seem to have come off. So I'm assuming um, it does remove. Now let's see if we can get our hands on this without uh, breaking anything, of course. That's the best way to get this up this out. I reckon because we're recording, it'll make it as difficult as possible. Oh, here we go. Got a little bit of a pop. Fantastic. All right, we'll get this out of the way so we can check out this blue diamond hunter in the uh, in the metal and in the blue. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> this is this is definitely blue. Uh, this is extremely bright. Wow. And very, very shiny as well. So the paintwork is quite glossy. Uh, there will be a lot of <laughs> reflecting light on this, uh, but the actual you know, panel lines and everything, if we uh, go down and have a little look, try and not get too much reflection off here. The panel lines aren't too bad. The paint on it seems nice enough. It does sort of seem to be a little bit uh, see-through-y along where the deep, deep panel lines are, and along there it's a little bit see-through-y if you can sort of... You know, see that maybe it was a white undercoat or something like that, or a pale undercoat. You can sort of see it bleeding through on some of the joins here and there. Um, obviously, uh, the uh, paint on this is uh, blue. It's, it'd be a hard colour to get some good coverage on it. Uh, so whatever colour they were using under under the blue, it's sort of does bleed through a fraction. Nothing major, nothing really bad, but. If you're, you know, a really fussy collector, you will you will notice that. So I'm trying to show that through. Hopefully it does come up a little bit on the camera. And depending on what you're watching it through, if you're watching it on your phone or a laptop or a TV, um, you'll you'll see it or you won't see it. <laughs> so it does have some, you know, minor engine detail there. As per usual, with these Corgi ones, that is very nice. It does have a pilot figure in there. So there is a, a Blue Diamonds pilot sitting in there. Got the unit marking on the front. We will move this around and have a look down at this side of the aircraft, of course. Beautiful, straightforward. Very nice. It's a very clean aircraft, of course. You know, whoop. Of course, that is the air brake that just came off. So uh, <laughs> it is set up for in flight. And of course, um, with that little air brake, it does have the option to have it in the open or closed position. So it was in the closed position and just dropped off. And uh, we will rectify that in a moment. So well, while we've got it turned over, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put it in the uh, gear down position and uh, have a little look at it like that. Alrighty, we're back with this uh, Blue Diamonds Hunter all uh, set up. And of course, very straightforward. You put the uh, nose wheel in and the nose wheel door there and that drops straight in. And of course, the rear gear is straightforward. You just put the two little... Um, main gears in and then of course two little gear bay doors there and that is job done there is a little bit of uh, silver in the wheel wells of course on where all the landing gear and then you put the uh, air brake in and that goes in there beautifully and that is uh, job done if you have it uh, gear down and uh, you know what I'm like I always like to have mine gear down and I am uh, that way inclined and that's how I uh, like to display my aircraft of course and uh, always uh, sort of on their landing gear it is uh, sometimes a bit frustrating to put some models together but it is just the way I like to do it. Oh, what we'll do is we'll chuck it on the stand. We'll do a combination. Uh, gear down on the stand. And, uh, you know, it's 
coming into land. <laughs> Straightforward in the stand hole, of course. And that is uh, your hunter as you would uh, chuck it on the uh, on the stand and whack it on your shelf if you want to display it on the stand like that. If you like your aerobatic uh, aircraft, then yeah, this is definitely another one to, to grab. Uh, Corgi do do quite a few aerobatic uh, display team sort of aircraft. And uh, it is just another pretty cool looking one of those. So we'll uh, wind this video up, of course. If you uh, enjoy this at all, hey, throw us one of those. And of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel as per usual. Now this, of course, by Corgi, 172nd scale die cast. It is the Hawker Hunter F Mark VI from the Blue Diamonds. It's not too bad for what it is. All right, guys. So once again, thank you very much for spending your valuable time uh, checking out another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed this content today. All right, guys. You all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. Cheers.